when writing, your hand blocks part of the paper, but this is okay since you write in a linear sequence and the rest of the paper doesn't change. But when using a tablet computer, you don't move in sequence and the display is constantly changing. When your hand covers important things, you may miss them or make inefficient movements to find them. This is called hand occlusion, and it occurs whenever you write or touch directly on a display. In an initial study of tablet PC usability, we found occlusion likely contributed to errors and fatigue. For example, we saw inefficient movements made when dragging, and people contorting their wrist to see what was under their hand. To investigate further, we conducted an experiment to study characteristics of hand occlusion. Participants tapped or circled targets at different locations on the tablet, while we recorded their actions from a small head-mounted video camera. This approximated their point of view. We then post-processed the video to extract perspective corrected frames showing the shape of the participant's hand and arm at each location like this. First, we located frames by synchronizing the video and the data logs using visual time markers shown throughout the experiment. By tracking augmented reality markers attached to the tablet bezel, we could locate the four corners in the frame, unwarp the perspective, and crop the bounds of the display. To isolate the hand, we used a blur filter to reduce noise, isolated the blue color channel, and used a threshold to create a binary image. Morphological operations removed unwanted edge pixels, and holes were filled based on pixel connectivity. Now we had clean images of the occluded area at each target location. One thing we can do is look at mean images for each of the 18 participants. For example, we can see that the occlusion shape varies by individual. And if we combine all participants, we can see the overall mean occlusion area. Or perhaps enhance this to show areas which are occluded more than half the time. Interface designers could use this information to minimize occlusion, but it's hard to convey with a bitmap, even if we create a measured grid such as this. A simplified geometric model of the occluded area would be useful. We looked at different models, but a five-parameter circle and pivoting rectangle model captured the general shape. R sets the size of the fist. W the forearm width. Theta captures the angle of the forearm and Q and Phi describe the offset of the fist from the pen position. To validate the model, we use nonlinear optimization techniques to fit it to images from the experiment. A comparison of the quality of fit suggested it is much better than a simple bounding box model used implicitly by many designers. Mean parameter values from the optimization can be used to more succinctly describe the usual occluded area to designers. As a simple example, this could be used to refine occlusion avoidance techniques such as Ramos and Balakrishnan's twist lens. An even more compelling use for the model is for real-time detection of occlusion, especially after the model has been configured for a particular individual.